You've probably heard this sound before, but for those of you who have not, this is from back when the internet was wired. Now the internet is for the most part wireless, so how does it all actually work? How did we get here and can it get any better? Let's start with the basics. Wi-Fi stands for wireless fidelity. It uses radio waves to provide wireless high-speed internet and network connections. There are actually a few founders of Wi-Fi, and it's considered a controversial topic as to where it was birthed from. In the year 1900, Nikola Tesla envisioned a wireless future using radio waves. This vision became a reality in 1941 with the development of Frequency Hopping Spread Spectrum, or FHSS technology. This technology was actually created by Hollywood actress Hedy Lamarr and was initially intended to guide torpedoes without being detected in World War II. The importance of Lamarr's invention was not known until decades later when it was used in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, and other such technology. Wi-Fi gained its popularity when Steve Jobs found an interest in making wireless connectivity a major part of their technology. Jobs' dream was to offer the convenience of a wireless connection to their consumers without having to actually connect anything to the device itself. The rest, as they say, is history. As most people know, Wi-Fi is something that is highly susceptible to interference. Questions like, why the Wi-Fi so slow one? can be answered by a few things. The first two models of Wi-Fi in 1999 faced major interference from other sources like cordless phones, microwave ovens, and even fish tanks. Most of us know that solid walls also act as a dampening barrier to the waves that our routers send out. This makes the Wi-Fi signals weaker the more walls it has to pass through. The upgrade that kind of fixed this problem in Wi-Fi 3 was to basically boost the speeds so even with interference, you would be getting more out of your router. Millions of Wi-Fi enabled devices such as phones, smartwatches, laptops are constantly sending out small amounts of data which slows down the whole network and builds up traffic like rush hour on a Monday morning. Wi-Fi 4 and 5 introduced something called multiple input, multiple output which works like traffic police to create an efficient flow of data from the router to each device, thus preventing congestions or even cross-channeling of traffic. Fast forward to the present. A typical household has a minimum of five connected devices to the Wi-Fi at the same time. Even with a state-of-the-art Wi-Fi 5 router, it's enough to slow down the entire network. Thanks to the brilliant minds behind Wi-Fi 6, slow internet is now a thing of the past. An important feature of Wi-Fi 6 is its ability to overcome congestion issues caused by multiple devices riding on the same wireless signal. Maxis understands the importance of a good internet connection in today's household and wants to ensure everyone gets a good experience at home. With the Wi-Fi 6 router as part of Maxis's standard offering, you can now enjoy higher efficiency, faster speeds, and wider coverage which is suitable for a household that uses a lot of devices simultaneously. Most houses cannot be covered by just one router due to size, interior layout, and non-optimal placement of the router. But with this new Wi-Fi 6 router, this is no longer an issue as it has an increased signal range and is easy mesh compatible. Thus, users can grab any easy mesh compatible devices and pair with this router to extend Wi-Fi coverage. Wi-Fi 6 creates a faster connection from your router to the device, so you can enjoy 4K movies, large file downloads and uploads, and even responsive smart home devices all without buffering. This high-performance router can handle a multitude of devices and utilization without freezing and overheating, which removes the need to turn the router off and on multiple times. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Wi-Fi 6 also minimizes the clashing of wireless signals with your neighbors. So if you are living in a high-rise building like an apartment or close to your neighbors, this means that your router just became that much more efficient with no extra work required. Wi-Fi is a thing we almost take for granted these days, yet it's one of the few things we can't live without. In a time like this where most if not everyone has to change the way they work, whether it's working from home or using multiple devices, it's clear that the router you use is a very key component in your home Wi-Fi experience. Do you find yourself in need of an upgrade? We'll leave that decision up to you.